Hank, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Hardcore Minecraft, episode eight. Glad you can make it. Now, last episode, we built this beautiful vineyard and gatehouse. I am so happy with it, and you guys all seem to love it in the comments too. But yeah, just a uh, just for a little episode eight uh, intermission. I feel like it might be nice to kind of give you guys a world tour to anyone who might be new to the series. So first, this is our starter house, and this is where I keep all my items and I sleep, and this is where I keep all my pets like Giuseppe. Hi, Giuseppe. And my two cats who protect me from all the creepers and phantoms who want to harm me all the time. And that's a little tour here, you know, my kitchen, storage. It's the storage system. We're going to answer this in today's later in today's episode. So don't be too worried about it. But I'm getting worried about that storage. <laughs> then we also have our bell tower, which is like our big beacon so far for our city, which I'm just ugh. every time I see this bell tower, I'm so happy with how it turned out. And then here's our bee farm where we get all of our bee stuff and Got some honey blocks. And here is our little alley side build, uh, like our storefronts here. And each of these builds is going to have their own purpose. Right now, only the uh, gray one here does with our enchantment setup. And I actually have been listening to you guys in the comments, okay? A few of you guys have been suggesting like, oh, put your books in the bookshelves and label them and all that stuff. So I started doing that. Like over here, I got my power and depth strider books. Here I got efficiency, protection, and unbreaking books. And some more of my miscellaneous stuff here and then back here we have our blacksmith this is like my super smelter uh the super smelter's name is Fernars. okay so get that remember that okay Fernars. and this is our nether temple and it goes to the nether like how it's supposed to <laughs> so i have one comment that i'm just gonna quickly address real quick uh shout out nex7374 he gave the suggestion of adding a chain hanging down from the chisel tough and making it seem like something has fallen i really like that idea Seems cool, it's very subtle, you know? So I added the chain and I added a few stone buttons here like something had broke. That's all I did. I don't really know if there's much else I can add here uh, without like obscuring anything. I think it would be cool to add like some sort of glazed terracotta block there. That might be pretty cool. I'm not sure yet though. So to start today's episode, I think it would be really cool to add a little bit more like background and like story to our village here. So how do our residents get water? Right now they don't. I get water from this infinite water source right here, but there's no other source of water in this entire area. So I think we should try to fix that. So I'm thinking of installing some aqueducts around the city. Maybe one that goes over here and kind of wraps around and leads off over here, then drops off some water. And then maybe another one that comes across this way, or maybe one that comes over there, comes around here. I just want a few aqueducts kind of scattered along the, the back side of the city to also kind of break up the back of the dirt wall over there. Uh, I think it'd be nice to have some aqueducts kind of going around. And you know, like, I'm pretty sure it was ancient Rome or maybe the Egyptians that invented the aqueducts. So it kind of makes sense uh, to have aqueducts lying around here because this is kind of an Italian uh, Roman-esque themed village. I think we should dive into making some aqueducts. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the montage. All right, guys, we finished our first set of the aqueducts, and I made the more complicated one because the other two, that was one, that one and this one are quite easy to make, so I'm not too worried about making those ones, but this one's a little bit more complicated because it splits off into two different ways and kind of needed to figure out the palette. So it took me a little bit to figure it out, but now we're here, and I think we're ready to see how this looks. I'm so excited. All right, I think I should just be able to place our first water source right there, and that one's gonna spread off to the left, cool and go right down there perfect because the only issue now is that we need to go to the right so i think if i do this oh so let's just make this an infinite water source so that's the water right there probably just do a water source there yeah that'll work and now i should be able to break that and it'll also split off in this direction perfect and how's this one doing oh this one's oh no it's gonna flood no no Okay, let's patch that water up and then let it all dissipate. Okay, we should be good now. We can break this again. All right, let's see how this looks from a distance though. Let's, let's go to the, the main entrance. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, this looks just how I envisioned it too. This is really cool. I do wish there was a little bit more dirt you could see behind this building, but I'm not too concerned about it because I think when you start coming out this way, you start seeing a bit more. We could also put a tree behind that building to kind of cover up the aqueduct and like 
make that not blend as much. But I think the left side looks really good. The right side looks really good. I think just this one building here, we should throw a tree just right behind there. And I think it'll look really good. And here we are. Look at this. I think this looks so cool. It adds like, it's almost like a barrier to our city now too. I also added a few more trees. Like I added this little tree right here and there's another one right here. And yeah, they just help break up the, uh, the monotony of the stone kind of coming around. I definitely think there's going to be a building over here eventually. So I'm not going to touch, uh, this area on the right. Uh, but the tree helps break that up a little bit too. It's very subtle when you're in this area. It's only like this little pillar over here. And you see a little bit of the water over there. Yeah, it's more of something you notice when you're coming into the city than is when you're in the city. But when you're over in this corner too, like I just love how this side looks right here. It looks so good. And eventually we'll put a little building here. Yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Oh, I think it looks so good. And every time I look over here, I just love that view too. All right, guys, it's just about time for us to start working on our mega build. I'm so excited to work on this. I will... Ah, I'm just so excited. Okay, so I've laid out all the materials we're going to need, and there's also more, but I'm not getting to that point yet. So we're going to need a lot of deep slate. We're going to need a lot of tough. We're going to need a lot of andesite. We're going to need a lot of stone and stone bricks. And I've already done the jungle logs, but we're going to need a lot of jungle wood too. We're going to gather these resources, and we're going to slowly begin our first mega build. What the skulk? <laughs> Why is this here? <gasps> oh my god. Is that what I think it is? Oh my god, it's a deep dark city. Diamonds! <laughs> no! I'm right underneath my bait! Wait, are those diamonds? How did I not see those? Wait, I want diamonds. Oh, I can't believe there's a deep dark under where I was digging. I was okay, I'm I'm gonna go dump my inventory. Guys, I'm feeling a little greedy. We're going to the deep dark, the deep dark, the deep dark. We're going to the deep dark and I'm going to get killed. All right, guys, we're doing it. I'm feeling devious. I'm feeling greedy. Okay, let's go down. This is our exit, a waterfall. I'm really hoping this isn't connected to a shrieker. Okay, we're good. Guys, I haven't done a deep dark in so long. I don't know what to think here. Okay, so I believe if I break streakers, it won't make noise if it's not connected to another streaker. What's over here? Any chests? Any chests over? Oh, there's one right here. Okay. Is it safe to open this one or do I need to break it maybe? Okay, we're going to go for it. <gasps> Shracker right there. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to break this one. We're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, we're not. We're not good. Did it, did it summon one? Why does that have to be so dark? Okay, so there is a shrieker it's connected to, but I'm really far away from it. Okay, we're just gonna open this. <gasps> pants. Ooh, mending pants. Okay, let's move on. When I broke that tracker, it connected to another one, which is right there. Oh yeah, I definitely chained to this one. Well, this one, okay, I think there's, is this one right here? This one? Oh, <gasps> oh. I, I don't know how I activated that one. Oh, I act, dude, there's this, that's a, that's a freaking trap. Okay, let's go for this one. I'm gonna torch. We're good. Blast. Notch apple. Holy notch. Okay, next chest. This one should be safe because I already broke all the trackers nearby. Whoa, echo shards. Okay, let's move on. I, I'm pretty sure I can walk on wool and it won't activate anything. Dude, there's the, that's the big old portal frame right there. Do you guys ever think they'll add a new dimension with that portal frame? That would be really cool. Dude, it's so eerie down here. I can only hear my computer fan right now. There's nothing else happening. I'm used to hearing like a bunch of cows mooing and being super freaking annoying. Hi, Mr. Chest. What are you? What the heck? Is it a stair? Oh, it is a stair. Huh, cool. One golden apple, not even notch. I close you. We're gonna crouch our way over here. I wish I was faster. Oh, ladders. I don't know if I can climb a ladder without it making noise. Eh, so loud. And he shriek. Oh, right there. Look at that. Good eye. Good eye. Bad eye. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Ah, Swift sneak. Okay. Just talking about you. Any other chests? 
Oh my god, there's so many right here. Oh, Shracker, Shracker, Shracker. Dude, what the Shrack? That's impossible. Oh my, there's four. I really want it. I really want that chest. If I break that one, it's going to signal these. And then that's going to signal over there and there and Shrack that and Shrack this one. That's a chain of death. I need to get upstairs. I'm making a bunch of noise. It looks clear, but I can't see above me. Okay, I'm just going to do it, I think. Oh my god, okay, we're good, we're good. Swift makes three? Frag- oh my, fragment. Wait, is this chest okay? Wait, this looks fine, this looks safe. I don't see any shrackers. This is so safe, okay. Oh, <gasps> an armor trim? Can I get a mending book? If I can get a singular mending book, I'll be a very happy man. Oh, <gasps> shracker. Two? Is there such a thing as me being fast enough? Okay, is there anything else that could try? Ooh, see, you easily shrack. Oh no, this one's death. Where's my exit? Oh, over there. Okay, I might be able to make a sprint for it if it comes to it. Oh man, can I can I break these fast enough? Are they insta break. This should connect the torm. I heard him. I heard him. I don't know where I'm going. Get me the heck out of here. I'm sorry. I was trying to see if I could insta break it. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Oh my god. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Wait, the diamonds. Go, 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 go. Oh. Guys, I'm not even kidding you when I tell you this. The moment that Warden got summoned, my my entire hardcore life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> that was mortifying. Oh, I thought it was over. I didn't know what to do. I like was about to freaking log out and just never open this world again. I didn't know what to do. All right, I think we should combine these two pants and then name them these pants of crouching, but we'll name them like tier two or something. Pants of crouching, the second. So now we have mending pants. That's sick. Boom, boom. Oh my God, I'm zooming. I'm a little speed demon. Skirt. I did not expect to run into an ancient city underneath our mine shaft, let alone our whole base. This whole base sits on top of an ancient city. It's actually pretty cool, now if you think about it. All right, but we're gonna get back to the deep slit mines and ignore the big ancient city underneath our base that is going to doom me one day. All right, that concludes our deep slate mining. Our total now is, oh, damn. Okay, this should be enough. This is, I'm just short. Uh, quick maths. Uh, 44 stacks. Is that right? It, probably. We got 44 stacks of deep slate here, which should be plenty. And our tough count, ooh, eesh, that's not enough tough. Okay, so with the magic twist, and now we have all of our tough, and we also got a bunch of andesite and stone, and the jungle logs are already there. <laughs> and we also got a little bit of copper, which we're gonna need a lot, a lot more copper. But I'm just gonna leave this little pile here because I am i don't really wanna mine it yet. <laughs> and I believe it's just about time to begin working on our first mega build. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a church. All right, guys, here is our first layer. I thought I'd show off the uh, the texturing I've kind of done here. So I have a nice little gradient going from the deep slate tiles to deep slate to tough to andesite and then to stone. There's also going to be stone bricks in there, but that's going to be up a little bit higher up towards like the top. And I think I might throw in some bricks near like the top layer here. And then here's the window design I came up with this. I thought I had a window design all ready to go in my head. And then as soon as I put it down, I was like, this is not at all what I wanted. I had to rethink something. And this is kind of what I've come up with. I have these two. I'm debating which one I like more. See, I like this one because it's very, it's very slender, right? And it has a nice the slab base and it still shows some of the texturing under. But this one, I like the stair too, and I like how like it feels and looks solid. Um, so I still can't decide which one I like more. And then we're gonna do a nice little trim along the edge, also using the jungle wood. Uh, my inventory is a mess right now. I have way more fences than I will ever need. All right, let's continue the build.
All right, let's see if I can land this water bucket. Light work. All right, this is my first time seeing it like this, and it's a giant block of stone. <laughs> I think it actually looks pretty good. I can see the vision. Now, there's a problem we have, guys. We're missing our roofs. <laughs> so for the roof, I want to do uh, like weathered copper, some warped wood, and actually, we need to go find prismarine. And <laughs> I don't know where I can find an ocean monument. So we'll have to go exploring for an ocean monument. But yeah, this is the build so far. I'm very happy with how it's turning out. Uh, I've already realized that this point is as tall as this point. So this is now going to be the new biggest building in this village here, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do a roof on these sides, kind of over these windows. And then on top there where there's a little bit of room, there's going to be another little set of windows, probably smaller than these ones, but like same style, you know. And then we'll have another roof on top and then a pointed roof up there. And then on the front here and on the back side at the same spot over there, we need to figure out some sort of like mosaic glass, colored glass pane design. I don't know if it'll actually be glass panes. We might use gla uh, glazed terracotta. We'll worry about that when we get to it. So yeah, let's go find Ocean Monument. All right, we're here at the Ocean Monument. I'm actually kind of scared. I haven't done an ocean monument in forever. <gasps> oh my god. I was waiting for that. Okay, so I brought a milk bucket and I got my pickaxe all repaired, nice and fancy. We're gonna go to the top and we're gonna kill him right away. And then we're hopefully we'll have enough time. Okay, we're going. Okay, I got I got the break line of sight, right? And then I go in. There we go. And then hi. No, I want my Okay. Okay. Hey, you take some hits. There we go. Actually, okay, so I gotta get out of here. Oh, uh, no, I got the... Dude, the amount of lasers on me right now. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, we'll come back with another bucket of milk. Then we'll go for another one of those uh, guardians. Dang, they act fast. I should have brought more buckets. Wow, look at the sunrise. On a dark, stormy morning, Bar set out to sea to conquer an ocean monument. I wish I was a pirate. All right, we're here. Let's, um, maybe I just go for it while I still have the chance. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what the heck? Hold on, I haven't gotten the effect yet. I'm gonna go for this other one real quick. Nice, okay. Hello, sir. Nice, another sponge. Okay, there's the effect finally. Oh, I low-key need breath. Wait, back up to surface. Uh, there you are. Oh, this room sucks. Taking some damage right now. Got him. Okay, I think we're good. Let's make a let's make a door. Ah! Don't kill me. Okay. Stop. All right, let's drink our milk. Jeez, these guys are mean. Fortunately, we have to deal with all these guys, but I think we can just start mining. Kind of hoping this all floats up to the surface. I can just swim around with my boat. Skirt. Yo, Tokyo Drift over this. What the sponge? So you're telling me that there's a room made of sponge here. Okay, I got all the blocks I need. Where my boat? Where my boat at? Where is home from here? I think that's I think it's this way. Okay. Honestly, I'm gonna be real, guys. I was a lot more stressed out going in there. I thought I was gonna take a lot more damage. All right, but now that we've gotten our prismarine from the ocean monument, I believe it's now time to work on the roofs. And here it is in its all glory. The church. I'm so happy with how this turned out. The front looks so awesome. I love the details, the little mosaics. Shout out B-dubs for this right here. He's such an inspo for me. And I love uh, taking little tiny details from him because he's so creative. So yeah, I got these glow lichen on top of the glazed terracotta. And it kind of creates that mosaic look, right? I did it here and I did it up there as well. And, and then here's our main entrance doors right here into the very empty mess this is. Actually, it's kind of dangerous in here. I've gotten dropped on by a few creepers already. But yeah, so this big mega build is eventually going to be our storage room 
But I'm trying to decide, should I have the storage room be in this room, right? In this big hall. I'm going to have, a, you know, chests everywhere on the sides here and stuff. Make it look all nice. Or should we go underground and have like catacombs that I can access over here and it get lows underground and we have all of our chests downstairs and we can keep this part looking like a church. Which one do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below if I should have the storage room be up here or downstairs. I want to address some suggestions you guys have left because I always think that's really fun uh, interacting with you guys and adding little tidbits that you guys like to the world. So, uh, we got another connects comment. Uh, we addressed his chain hanging one earlier, but he also suggested adding dwarfism to the mine entrance too. I think that's actually a really cool idea. It goes in style with this, and I'm kind of thinking we just match the, uh, the roof style here, but we do a little spruce one instead. So let's do that real quick. There we go, just a nice little roof on that. I think it, it gives it a nice little shape. It's better than it was before. All right, and then we have another comment from Adri1749, almost 1738. Hi, another great video. Thank you very much. I think it, I think it's just missing a roof on the wall facing the vineyard. Otherwise, very nice build. Keep it up. Can't wait to see the rest of your adventure. Thank you very much. And I actually love your suggestion. I think it'll give it a nice little change in perspective too. Just adding a little brick roof. Just I think just jutting out right over here. And it can only be like two or three blocks long. So let's do that. Oh, oh, the vineyard's dangerous. What do you guys want? Ow, ow. There we go, nice little roof there. Just gives a little extra shape on that side. And yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It's all about those tiny details, guys. The little things go a long way. And then our last comment I'm gonna address here is from Jasis. Also a bunch of you, a lot of people suggest this and I love the suggestion, but this is like the first comment I saw uh, comment this. I think a nice vineyard storefront cavern house, storehouse. <laughs> Way up the hill would look so good. Just to tie in the village to the bit. Tie in the village to the build a bit. Tie the village to a bit in the build. I think I typed that wrong. <laughs> I think a little storage house right there. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. I think it's just, I'm just going to do like a little spruce house. Uh, like a little log cabin maybe. All right, let's see what we can cook up here. There we go. There's our nice little log cabin storehouse here. We can put some barrels in here. Actually, I can make the barrels now. Let's do them. There we go. Nice and nice and cozy. And there's not a lot of room in here, but you know, it's a storehouse. It doesn't have much. Then I made a nice little path coming up here, just connecting down and kind of winds down over here to this path. And I got to get out of here before I get attacked. And there it is on the little hill there. Oh, that's so cozy. Look how cozy that looks at nighttime too. And the little Little tiny bits of puff of smoke come out. Just just a little bit. A few escape at a time. Oh yeah, a little little hint of light over there. It's got a little I love the red accent too. I think that just helps it be noticed a little bit more over there. But yeah, I love that suggestion. Thank you, all the commenters who left that suggestion and Jasus for uh leaving it first. <laughs> but yes, this is our mega build for the today's episode. I really do like it a lot, and I hope you guys like it too. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. It's insane that I've gotten a thousand subscribers and I've only been uploading for about two months. So I really do appreciate it. And guys, don't forget, I do be uploading every Saturday at around three o'clock. So, you know, keep your notifications on. Or you can also join my Discord, which is down in the description underneath here. Down there. Or you can follow me on Twitter, too, where I tweet stupid stuff down there. Goodbye.